that he did. What is up, my friends and fellow collectors out there? Welcome to another Nerdgasm. Today, we are doing the second part of the DC Justice League Dark. <laughs> How did that just didn't come out right the way I said that? <laughs> the Justice League Dark series that we're doing, the saga of Junior's collection. What is up, Junior? What's up? Well, great to be back, man. Uh, another one coming. Uh, my room's looking good, you know. You know, the Justice League Dark coming together. Satana is my next piece, so hopefully, you know, she'll be out here next year, and hopefully I'm still here. Um, and uh, hopefully they keep going down that line, man. John Constantine will be the next one. We'd love to see him made. So hopefully That'd we get a surprise. they make him. Yeah. Dude. Tonight, though, we're unboxing the Dead Man statue. So that's the, the second one that we did. We did the um, Swamp Thing on Monday. And we're going to be knocking out Dead Man today. So if this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of the content. And if this is your first, your second time back or your fifth time or hundredth time back, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you share this video out. You know, do what you got to do to help us get to the next level on YouTube. We appreciate all the things you guys do. And then make sure you also tune in on Friday because we're going to be doing a live live show over at... Flynn's Comics down in Margate. Flynn's Comics. Flynn's Arcade down in Margate. Yeah, I'm having a that, bad yeah. day right now, so I'm not feeling all that well. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell, man. Hey, you know. It's like my mind is like all over the place right now. Every day, you know, every day cannot be good, so, man. So, nah, yeah, so, you go, so you go to the arcades on Friday, huh? Yeah, yeah, on Friday. We're supposed to be doing the live show from there. They got okay. out of a bar. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to go down there and go check this place out. Seth already looked at it. And from the looks in the pictures, it looks kind of dark. So that's I was kind of hoping I could get down there and see how much lighting I'm going to need to make this look better. So how um, you guys are planning to do that? How you planning to film it? Like how, what are you guys trying to do? How you how you? It's going to be a winged thing, like it always is with Seth. <laughs> yeah, but how you going to be able to? Why are you using for a camera to film? You're just going to be walking I'm gonna around. I'm going to use my camera. Hopefully, I'm going to be like, using my camera, and then the lighting is what I'm really what I'm concerned about. So the the shot's going to be we're going to be at the bar, and then it's going to be the arcade behind us, which that should look really cool. So I'm you guys, very are you guys, in that. Are you gonna have put it like on a like on a tripod, or you guys are going to? Tripod. You guys are gonna, oh, okay, okay. I'm just Come on, gonna, dude. We tripod that shit. I thought you were gonna have a cameraman or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford to pay for a cameraman right now. But we're taking applications. If you want to be a cameraman for MCE, hit me up. <laughs> Follow you around the bar. Hey, that's what's up, bro. I can't pay you money, but I can maybe get you some discounts on some XM Studio stuff. You know, the occasional freebie here and there. You know, if that sounds like the thing you want to do. Hit me up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, That's man. awesome. All right, man. Let's do some roll call before we get into doing it unboxings and stuff like that. We got Irish Alucard in the house. We got uh, JB. That's an easy one to remember. JB. G-Force Racing 20 is in the house. What we got? Else? We got Nightmare 22. Hugo Cardosa. Uh, Rolando Flores. I love all the Spanish names, man. Jason Nemiroff. Mm. Bob the Great. Or Bob Great. I'm going to call you Bob the Great because that just sounds even greater. Uh, John Rinaldi. All right. Got Jason Nemiroff. I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Edwin Diaz is in the house. J Rod. What's up, Edwin? Edwin. You got to love Edwin. He always shows up for everything. Junior right. Statue Collector is in the house, bro. You got your twin up in there, man. I know. I hope he got more statues than I do. <laughs> <laughs> the Pamerica is in the house. What's up, dude? All right, we got Team Mitchell. We got Rafael Polomis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And Diego Hernandez and the Thor 2941. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we've already hit everybody up there. Currently, we're sitting at 40 people up in the up in the chat, man. So, you know, please hit that like button. Anthony YouTube fan is up in here. What's up, Anthony? So, that's what we're doing today. We're unboxing the Dead Man statue. How many boxes did this one come in, man? As many as... Uh, uh, one. One box. One. This, this came in one box, man. Me, dude, I'm enjoying my room, man. My room is coming together like butter, man. I, dude, your I, room's I, been together. Ah, dude, now, man, when I get one of these spots taken over by one of my beautiful statues, man, it's just, I just can't stop coming down here, hanging out, playing my PlayStation and... And enjoying my freaking room, man. This is that this swamp thing, man. This swamp thing, bro, man. Let me tell you something, man. This thing is 
Oh my god, man, this thing is really freak. Oh my god, dude, I don't care what. Man, this thing is 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 beastie, man. This thing is, wow, man. When I oh, yeah, man, I can't wait <laughs> to put um, can't wait to put Dead Man next to him. You know, Dead Man's gonna go right next to him. Satana's gonna go on the other side. So I'm gonna have Satana in here too. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out in my head why, where I'm gonna display him. I don't know if I'm gonna move him over here yet. So. But yeah, man, I'm 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 stoked, man. I'm 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 waiting stoked. for my my you know my my cyborg Superman. It's gonna go in that mm-hmm. corner. It just feels good when you get those pieces in, you know, and 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 you fill in those spots, and it's like, man, you know, I can't wait to finish and get it all done, man. I'm waiting for my Bane, man. My Bane versus Batman, man. I paid for that thing since September 18th, mm-hmm. and I must have emailed Prime One already like three times, and I still having oh, it's in process of shipping, process of shipping. Every all those three emails that I get back. Don't worry, man. It's coming. You know. Don't worry. But, don't get all worked up about it, man. Keep the positivity going. Uh, I, dude, I get it, man. You're waiting I, on stuff. It's all man, good. Yeah, man, man. As long as you're waiting on stuff, you'll never nappy. I, I just <laughs> want to get my room done because I want to start working on my other room already. My room is already empty in the Your other side. Your room is never going to be done, bro. You're what? never going to be done. You've been saying I'm going to be getting the room done since I met you, man. So how long have we been together now, man? Two years we've been hanging no, out, man. Yeah, and more than that. Yeah, three. More than that. Three years. Three, three years. Three years, years yeah, of hanging out, years, Junior. Yeah. And you've been saying we're almost there and you're not there yet. <laughs> you know, you know what? It's funny because you know what? You know, it is. It's, you know, me and you were having this conversation before we got online. And it's like, I don't know, man. I, I, I used to like the one quarter scales, and and for some reason, man, I don't know, man. This is like a like a drug, man. I, I don't know, man. Like I, I, I just can't one third. They're not by half scale, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one third. Now, when they go to half scales, to me, I just feel like now you're going into like, might as well buy yourself a damn human. Yeah, you know, but uh, uh, this to me is a perfect I know, size. I just One third love. scales are big. I seen I seen the quarter scales, but they just not. They look like little people. Not doing it for you anymore. No, they're like little people. The quarter scales, the quarter <laughs> scale, the quarter scales don't do it for me anymore. I don't know why, man. I just don't don't know, man. Uh, I just I, I just, still I, love them. I think quarter scales are a good size. Mashari oh, is in the house. What's up, Mashari? How you doing, bro? Oh, Mashari, here. Twenty two. Got Matthew. What else we came in? Just came hey, Bashari, how did you get? Did you get the Black Widow okay up there to you, man? You never text me or nothing. You got that? Did you get it already? Can you text me? Let me know you got it right up there to you. Matthew wants to know if you ended up displaying um, Swamp Thing with the bird in hand. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, my wife came down and she saw it. She was like, "Oh my God, this is." You know, my we know how my wife is. She does not collect statues. She's not into it. But when she came down here, she was like. Baby, that piece looks beautiful. I'm like, I know. And she said, then mm-hmm. I started swapping out all the swap outs for her. And I said, which mm-hmm. one would you display him with? She goes, I like the one. I like him when holding the bird in his hands. And she even picked mm-hmm. the head scope that he got on now. She goes, put that head scope on. Um, but uh, my girl, I don't know, everybody, she's like, oh, my God, this is a beautiful piece, baby. This is humongous. She's like, this is big. She's like, it looks really good. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? She's like, yeah. I was like, you know, so even for somebody who doesn't collect statues and tells me that, um, you know, because if she sees a piece, she'd be like, eh, eh, <laughs> eh, eh. She did, she went crazy for um, Poison Ivy. Mm-hmm. When she saw Poison Ivy, she's like, wow, she is beautiful. And when she saw uh, Swamp Thing, she loved Swamp Thing. She loved Mr. Freeze. And she's not a collector. She picked out the right, right ones. Mm. So... Yeah up. man, yeah man. Um, so yeah man, I'm 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 very happy with my collection. I'm very happy for all my picks. Um, can't wait to get the penguin from Prime One. It's gonna be amazing. Finally a damn penguin. We never had a damn penguin. Yeah, penguin's gonna be dope. Oh uh, yeah, can't wait the Talon. Can't wait to see Talon. <laughs> Junior, uh, J Rod's asking a pretty hard question here. What's your favorite statue so far that you got this year? Ah, uh, dude. Uh, I know that's a hard one for you. I, you know, I, you know, and, and I apologize to everybody who asked me the question. What's my favorite piece in my collection? I, 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 I don't know, man. I mean, uh, let me tell you something. So far, man. I, I, I mean, you got poison ivy, man. You have, you have swamp thing, man. I mean, you know, you got brainiac. Even though it's a one quarter scale, brainiac's amazing. I mean, I mean, even, I mean, I mean, hawk, man. I mean, you know, it's just. I, I don't know, man. They all, they all got a special. I don't know, man. I, I don't know, man. It's very. Very hard for me to um, to say what's my favorite. I mean, if I got if I got to say, man, I mean, Mister Freeze. I mean, I mean, they they're just amazing pieces, man. I don't know, man. It's just very hard. You like Swamp Thing better than Doomsday? Totosh is asking. Ah, uh, <laughs> again, I think they're both equal, man. Yeah, equal right. to me because they're like good. I said, they're good in different ways. Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Yes, yes. You know, all they right. all have a. They all. Have, it's 
let me put it this way. Prime One is doing, to my opinion, to my knowledge, to me, never had a bad experience with Prime One. I know other people have bad experience with Prime One. Never so far, knock on wood, I've never had a bad experience with Prime One with any of my pieces. Never something that I didn't like from them. Never something that broke on me. Never something that it was not painted right. I never had uh, an issue with paint job, scope-wise. Never had an issue with any of them. Maybe that's why I, 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 I am the way that I am. But everything that they make, to me, comes out great. I mean, I mean, look at Doomsday. You're not going to see a Doomsday like that ever again, bro. Mm. Besides, the day, not even the diorama comes close to that Doomsday. Because this Doomsday is amazing. This Swamp Thing, bro. You're never going to see a Swamp Thing like this before, ever again. You're not going to see, uh, 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 I mean, uh, even Iron Studios, the Hawkman. You're not going to see a Hawkman like that again, dude. This is a, this Hawkman is incredible. It's, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, 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 I probably never let me down. So, I mean, that's just me. Um, I, 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 it's not, you know, you know, you know, you know me, George. I'm honest. If I don't like it, I'll say this is, uh, pff, pff, you know. I'm honest, you know, but they haven't dropped the ball on me whatsoever, dude. So I'm happy with them, and I'm going to keep buying from them until I see lack of uh, lack of quality. All right. You know, but they don't, they're not looking that they're lacking. <laughs> no, I know. They got a lot of good pieces coming out. I mean, I'm looking forward for that, for that, for that uh, Batman buster, bro. I can't wait uh, to get that piece. I'm gonna, gonna be getting be that piece. I can't wait to see that Batman Buster, bro. Woo, 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 woo. DJ MP TV, what is up, dude? Uh, I think you're referring to the Dead Man statue box that's behind him. That's what we're gonna be unboxing today. That's not Destro. <laughs> uh, Matthew's asking another question: Is there any pieces in your collection that have sentimental value? Yes, they. I do. Um, my well, I have pieces that my wife got me, and they're not one third scales. <laughs> um, I have I have the one six scale, um, Aquaman and Mera hugging each other. My girl got me that for my girl was getting me those for Valentine's. She mm -hmm. got me that one. I got the bombshell Joker and Harley Quinn holding him up while he's laying on top of her. You know that you ever seen that one? When Joker's like this and Harley's dressed like like a nurse. Yeah, yeah. My, my wife also got me that piece, um, so that's a very sentimental to me as well. Um, I also have um, the one six scale. I mean the one fifth scale. My first sideshow piece, which was the Hulk versus Wolverine. That's one has sentimental value with me. That's not going going anywhere because that was my first quarter quarter piece that I got. Um, I think I have a couple of one six scale also that my wife got me that have more sense of value to me than a one quarter than a one third scale. Hmm. Um, uh, sense of value to me on one third scale, so I don't have I, I I can't say that I can say that um, I'm in love and I won't let it go. But something like I will never. My brother got me uh, Meroff, the regular Meroff from Bombshell. That has sent the value, but my cousin got me the other bombshell for my birthday, which was the the girl with the uh, um sorry what's um uh, what's her name um she's right here uh Vixen, my mm. cousin Victor got me Vixen so the uh, and my mother got me the Captain America one fifth scale from the Avenger lines from SciShow, so I have what people buy me is sentimental to me, gotcha. what I buy is not sentimental to me, so what if up, you. Chad? You know, so if you bought me a statue, George, that's sentimental mm -hmm. to me. I'm gonna keep. No, it. yeah, absolutely. I'm not absolutely. gonna sell that. You know what I mean? Uh, it's yeah. just you know that has sentimental value to me. But, but me, what I buy, the, I don't get attached to them. I got rid of my Ghost Rider. I got rid of a lot of good pieces. You know what I mean? I don't. That I don't really care about. You know, but something that somebody gave me, yeah, I do. I will never sell things that people give me. I'll true. keep them until I die, bro. <laughs> true, true. So you know, uh, and at so much he wrote back to me. Yes, I got it, but then I box it. Oh, no worries, bro. No problem, man. Anytime, Mr. E, man. Anytime you need anything from me, I'm here, man, and I'm glad you got it up there to you, man. But thank you for reaching out to me, man. Appreciate that, bro. Matthew says his is the one-third scale Sagat. That's his sentimental statue. I was in rehab, nicely put, and NYCC was coming up, and three or four days before NYCC, I got so lucky, got to see it in person, what was a little bit of a motivation to get out. That's what's up, man. 
Sorry if I read that wrong. I'm horrible at reading uh, reading chats. I, I get Seth to do it most of the time when we're on the on the live show. <laughs> What's up, uh, chat? Yeah, you Thor know. says he's buying you a cape so that you don't have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a, scope, up, buy a scope it for me, all right, though? <laughs> Sculpted cape. Don't give me uh, nothing mixed media here, all right? G-Force is like, make it a real sexy cape like Lando. That's what's up, man. You know, got to have like the, the plaid as on the As long as it's sculpted. <laughs> <laughs> I want a sculpted oh, cape, man. you know? Uh, but other than that, man, I don't really have... I love my room. Let me tell you something. The day that I got to sell everything, bro, it's gone. I'm, a, I'm, that, I'm just that, that person, bro. I'm not... And I mean, it is what it is, man. If time gets hard, bro, they're all gone. It's not, uh, oh, I'm out, dude. I don't care. I'll do it again. I'm always going to do it all over again. I'll do it all over again. I'm not, True. Know, you know, I'm never going to stop, True. bro. As long as that choo-choo train's gassed up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, though, man. Just, you know, what do you think? I feel you. I need more room. That's what I need. <laughs> About a year in the whole, you know, my girl bugs out on me because I told her I want to get out of here like in the next two years. So yeah. I'm saving money to buy a bigger house. You know, this is a big house already, and I want to get a, like at least a five thousand square feet house. That's be my next right. house. And when I do the houses that I do, you know, with my company, and, I, and she comes over sometimes and brings us like brings the guys lunch, and I show her the basement, and she looks at me. She goes, "Oh my god, what you could do yeah. with this basement? I don't even want to know." She said, "But yeah. I tell you, you know what? This is mine, and you can have the whole five six bedroom house upstairs all for yourself, decorate it however you want it." I don't care about anything upstairs. I still give you your dream in the basement. Dude, if I was to get one of those houses, bro, I could probably fit about 400, 500 one door scales, dude. Easy. That's, that's how lot. much the basement, basements are. That's bro. dope, but that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Like, I will have separate. Like, I'll definitely, definitely, you're going to see, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to end up doing it real hard. And this is this is just a, a, a temporary thing, but I am going to have a, a theater room with a statue separate. I'm going to have, you know, a regular gaming room with, you know, all That's tactical. What's up, man. All, all like tactical. DJ is saying right there. Always need the man cave. Absolutely. Yeah, need yeah. It. Always. Always need that. Need need, need need to get away. I agree, Gerard. Yes. The very first piece that I got got me into collecting was a one tenth bath, man. A present from my friend. It has a great sentimental value, despite the small scale. Yeah, anything it, to me, scale. You know, everybody sees me buying one third scales. I have a lot of one six scales. I have one ten scales. I have, oh, I have it all. I even have, I have GI Joes in boxes. I have, I have, I have, I collect everything, bro. I have Marvel Legends. I have Star Wars Vintage. And George, you know that. I have G. Mm -hmm. like I have it. I have, I, have, I collect video game one to scale statues. I have, <laughs> I mean, I collect, I collect what I see. If I like it, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Jerry Jerry says, Escobar, Escobar of, man, of cave. man caves. And then you know, Bob the Great said. That for Christmas, Junior needs a cape with trains and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> and if you buy it for me, I'll wear it for you. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I know, you know, George, I don't know, man. It's, you know, I, I collect everything. You know that, man. I, 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 I walk in GameStop. I walk anywhere. I see it. I like it. I'm going to buy it. It's just who I am. I just, I don't know, man. It's just something that, thank God I'm, I'm able to do that. I'm, I'm fortunate <clears throat> to be, you know, way where I am right now. I'm fortunate to be able to buy these statues and. I hope everyone can buy whatever they like one day or buy them now if they can. But I'm very fortunate to have what I have now. I thank God every day I wake up for everything I have. I thank them when I had nothing. I'm going to thank them when I have something. I don't look for him when I need something. I always look for him when I don't need anything. So, you know, the blessings were always going to keep coming to me because I am one thing that he knows about me. I don't get attached to nothing. I don't care. Um, I just I don't care about my neighbor. I don't care what my neighbor's doing. I don't care what the world's doing. I just worry about what I'm doing for me and my family, and I don't worry about the world. This is who True. I am. When you start worrying about the world, shit will start working out for you. True. But you know, enough enough talking. Do you want me to start this baby up? Let me answer G Force's question before you start this baby up. Okay. Uh, G Force, you're asking me about what what I use to cut the the pill shapes in the in the Death Star. I use the three inch uh, hole saw and the jigsaw. So, and then we use the press. So if you watch that video I did on how to do the Death Star walls, he, the, the hole saw was attached to a press and they pressed into the wood. And then once the holes were cut, then I used the jigsaw to cut the straight lines to connect the two holes. And that's how that worked out. You're All Bob right. the Builder, bro. You're Bob the Builder, yeah. <laughs> Bob Villa right here, man. That's what's up. I need Don't to do you... the second part of that video. I just, I keep on, 
It's like, man, when I'm about to like think, okay, let me get to editing this thing and figure out how I'm gonna put this all together. Like more shit comes in, and it's like, okay, I need to get to it. Like I still have to do the unboxing of. Um, I got one of those legendary displays. I got I, that came in. I gotta take. I gotta get that out of the box. Show you guys what the final result of that was. Um, I got. I, I just got in a couple of, uh, of Black Series figures for the, for the guys who like watching. You know the, the figure videos. And that's gonna be a dope one for tomorrow. Like those. Um, yeah, and more. <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> my, my garage right now is filled with boxes I need to get to. So, <laughs> hey, want to crazy. ask you? You got that vintage Falcon, didn't you? The vintage Falcon? Oh, the Falcon. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah, you, you say it the Falcon ain't... like that. I'm thinking Falcon like Avengers. I'm like, when did I get that? No, no, the, yeah, the, the Millennium Falcon. You hugging it? You say it's never going. Yeah, yeah. No. How much the was that piece? Collection. Four hundred dollars. Can you still get available? Can you get that still? Uh, not online uh, in Target. If you if you go to Target and you happen to see it there, that's where you'll find it. So, and, and it came out a long time ago. No, no, it just came out. Uh, it, it just started hitting stores the last like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. So 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 Targets carry them. Mm hmm. And they're four hundred bucks. Four hundred bucks. All right, I'm gonna grab one of those babies. You want to sell me yours? Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, I had a fight no. to get mine. <laughs> I wish I was able to show you guys that video. I was thinking about telling Seth about combining the the, the what's popping show, you know, to make it more about all of us running out and doing the toy hunting since all of us have been doing it. Um, because like that that particular when I went to get the Falcon, I'm on the phone with Seth as this going down, and I'm cursing the fuck out of Target. I am mad at that point, and uh, and because these dudes they just don't help you, man. And they don't give a shit. And I get it. They don't get they don't get paid enough or whatever. But I mean, it, 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 to me, it's like if this is the section that I work in. You know, this is I work in the toy section. Or I work in the electronic section. I try to know every damn thing about my zone, my little area. You know, and those boxes are huge. It's not like they were like little small boxes that I'm looking for. They're big fucking boxes. How do you not know that these things came in? So, whatever, man. It's crazy. So, so yeah. did you find it on the shelf, or you went back there to go get it? Nah, it, it's big. So when I went in there, by the way, Jason, thank you, bro. I love my shirt. This is my latest one. This, I love this thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I went to the to the Star Wars section, and then it wasn't there. And then I, you know, I got a a, a rep, and the rep was like, you know, it, it's not here. I'm like, obviously, it's not here. I'm, I'm not seeing it. I'm like, but it's showing online, that, or it's showing on your store that you got two in stock. And these are big boxes. So then he's like, well, they came in like five days ago. So if they're not here, they're not here. I'm like, dude, I'm like, they're still showing that they're in stock. You know, you guys, you guys didn't, didn't clear your inventory out. So he's like, well, I could go in the back and check if you want me to check. I was like, yeah, please go check. So he's, he's <laughs> like, back yeah, please there. Go check. <laughs> yeah, he's back there forever, man, forever, you know, and I'm trying to get this done before I go to work. So it's like, I'm trying to like hurry him up, right? So he's back there forever. So I start walking around. And I'm and I'm upset, you know. So I'm talking shit with Seth as we're walking around, and then I find the box nestled in with the Power Wheels and the uh, and the and the kids like you know uh, play areas. Wow! And stuff like that. It's hidden in there. Like you see the boxes like nestled in between all these things, and I was like, there they are, you know. So you know, I went over there and grabbed it, and then I, and I took off. I was like, the hell with it. I don't even want to talk to these guys. I, I, they get me so stressed out that whenever I see that there's something being that's going to be available at Target, I immediately dread it. And I'm like, man, like, like the next GI Joe characters, like they got some more exclusives coming out for at the Target store, and it's just like, nah. It's now, can much. I ask you? Can I ask you something, George? Mm. Do you when you go before you go to Target, do you go on their website and see if they have it available on the regular website? <laughs> Edwin and the poor kids. That George trip to get the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make this too much about the figure stuff, man. We're here to unbox. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but hold up. Before you say, yeah, before yeah, we, yeah, go, go. But before <laughs> before we go over there, I just want to know: did, did did you look at the website before you go to the yeah, store? Of course. So you look at the website to see if it's available. Yes. You know that when I got my GI Joes, they were saying they were not available. When I got there, I found like six. Yeah, yeah I know that happens too. But I, I don't like going to the stores, you know, blindly like that. It's because gas is expensive, man. You know, I'm like, fuck, the hell with gas. Yeah, all right, all like right. The gas isn't even that bad right now. Wear and tear in my car is, is an issue, man. I love my car. All right? I hate driving that fucking thing all over the United States looking for toys. Well, uh, well before we start, uh, there's a nice thing that DJ MPTV put. Attachment usually root over, oh, root over all suffering and faith is very important to have. It's almost like a cheat code for life. 
but gratitude that's what really is about gratitude deter- determines your 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 your, your latitude Sorry, I don't know how to read. I read Brad too. So, but that was a good thing. <laughs> he got one, two, buckle my shoe. So, damn, George, you're one, you're one call away from joining the Avengers. Avengers assemble. <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> it's the, the hair, dude. Here you go, man. Here you go. I'll, I'll help you out, bro. There. All right. So let's do there, this. There. Now I'm. Now I'm there. There we let's go. Let's do this. Go. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is gonna be a quick one because he's not that much of an intricate piece, but he is beautiful sculpted. So give me one second. All right, all right. All right, guys, just like last time, I will zoom in on Junior doing the work, and I'll be monitoring the chat. <laughs> J-Rod, Tony Stank has arrived. That's what's up. <laughs> this is the base. Let me um try to lift this puppy up here. Excuse me. There we go. Here lies Boston Brand. The man. Dope. All right. This is the regular edition. I got number 17 out of 500. Nice. Yeah. And then I, I forgot to say it's one thing. I got number eight. You got number eight? Jeez. Yeah. Number eight, bro. All right. So. I <laughs> went to QVC, QVC. <laughs> All the statues in this video are available at the low, low price <laughs> of $29.95 right, so for one. only. 20 months. <laughs> so this goes over here. Hold on, give me one sec. Okay. And if you call right now, you will get a picture of Junior holding your statue. <laughs> Choo Choo is leaving the station. Next stop, Bananaville. A real G Force, he's getting them low numbers. Let me get, let me get, uh, let me give you a nice, uh, if I could give you a nice uh, thing on the. On Does the getting the number one statue increase the value? Look at the head sculpt. Is that the one and only head sculpt that it comes with? No, it has another one, a grinning one that's the exclusive, which I didn't like because he's not known to be mad. He's always smiling. Dope. Yeah, really cool. See that? I will right, we'll get a zoom in when you, when you, um, when you plug him in. Uh, J-Rod, to answer your question, uh, not really. I mean, some people like to get the number one. Um, I personally like getting the number that, if there, if there's a number in the sequence uh, that corresponds with the comic of whatever, wow, look at this, man. He's a that big statue boy, is bro. available. He's a big boy. Yeah, he is. You got to turn, uh, he can't hear me. Got to help Junior out when it comes to the mic. I apologize, guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, getting the number one of a statue doesn't necessarily mean that it's that it's uh, a greater value. It really depends on the person that is collecting it or wants to buy it from you. Sometimes they feel that it might be worth something more. Uh, same thing like getting a sample or getting a uh, um, an artist proof. Some people feel like that has extra value. It's because it's one of the pieces that were used in the production process. Um, but it, me personally, I like getting the pieces that correspond with maybe like the first appearance of, of that character or... Like if the if it's a diorama and it, it pertains to a comic, maybe the comic number that goes with or, or something like that, you know. So it, to me, that's that's what I like anyway. Look at this thing, bro. This yo, this is he's big. Yo, turn the microphone towards you, bro. He's he, <laughs> he's big, bro. There you go. Now he's, I hear you better. He's big. Wow. Yeah, he's big. He's, he's one big. third scale. Yeah, but he's big. Like he's like he's he's on scale. Like really, like like. Yeah, it's one third scale, but you know that the line of the Arkham line video game, they're they're real, they're way smaller than all these. Mm. They're not like they're one third, but these are all bigger than the whole Arkham line or Arkham Origins, besides um, um, Croc and uh, and Mister Freeze. Lewis in the house. What's up, bro? Of course we're getting ready for the Mandalorian. We got one week. I can't wait. Look at this piece, bro. He they did a great job on this piece, man. Yeah. Wow. The detail on this is insane, bro. He's dope. Wow. Uh, DJ, he's from the Justice League Dark series. Mm hmm. With Satana, John Constantine, Swamp Thing. And There's I actually a watch- couple of uh, movies out already for it. Mm hmm. I just watched um, the um, the War Apocalypse with mm-hmm. Constantine. Um, what's this guy's name with the ears? That guy they told that came out already. What's his name? Variant. 
Um, I just watched the movie. That shit was a really good movie, too. Wow. Actually, I'm going to probably watch some of that after we get done with this video. It's because I'm... Wow. I need to watch a, a DC anime. I love the DC animation. Yeah, I watched I watched the Apocalypse War and Apocalypse that um, okay. he he injects Superman with um he, he keeps them all alive, but he he put, don't don't tell me, man. Let right, me right. watch the movie. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, big, Aguilar, what's kidding. up, dude? Montoya is in the house. Look at this thing, bro. Wow, George, I'm so fucking stoked. Train's gonna be stopping for a little bit, man. Waiting for the other ones to come in now. Damn it! It's all right, man. We'll get we'll get another Justice League Dark series going. You got plenty of statues to do reviews on. It's a little creepy here, but this is good. Wow, wow, the detail in this is insane, bro. Wow. Yeah, it's nice looking, man. What? You gonna do a 360 turn oh, yeah, for yeah, everybody yeah. in the chat? Everybody, everybody, get a spin on this guy. Yeah, it's, this is this is wow. Yeah, he's nice. I want to say thank you to Angel because I was able to obtain this through Angel Luna. Um, we did a trade. He was looking for a uh, cable, and I had the exclusive, and we traded even trade for him. He was like, you know, I'll do with you, Jr. I was like, oh man, I really appreciate that. So, and I also sold him my Scarlet Witch from XM, and I also I'm gonna be selling him the um, the Iceman from XM as well. But uh, one, two, uh, no, we haven't all been in the same room to do a live panel together. Um, we've been, uh, we've we've had, Cal I've been with Calvin at one point. Obviously, with Seth at another point. Uh, this this Friday is gonna be Calvin, Seth, and I. Uh, and one and possibly Chad. I think Chad's supposed to be coming through too. Um, and my brother. So my, actually, my brother's going to make an appearance on that one as well. Um, Junior lives in, in Pennsylvania, so it's harder for us to all get together. Same thing with like Calvin. He lives in, in North Carolina, so it, it's hard to, for us to all be in the same room. Hopefully one day we'll get, we'll get to do that. Definitely. Gonna, we're going to do that. <laughs> Angel is in the chat. Is he, he's the guy who hooked you up with this one, right? Where is Angel Luna? Yes, Angel yes. Is it Angel or Angel? Angel, Angel. Angel, yeah, yeah. Angel, Angel. 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 Yeah, thanks, thanks yeah. for you in the chat, Angel. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot, man. How did you like? Did you open up the boxes yet? Did you like um, Cable and, and 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 Scarlet? Did you open those up? Killer Clem Melendez is asking if we think the Sick Mansion is going to get this one too. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, and it was an easy assemble, and it, it was actually it was a real easy assemble. Uh, Burn 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 Santi asks if I ever got a broken statue. Uh, I think you have from Prime like one? once, once, but not from Prime One. You sure? I yeah. It. Okay. I had never gotten a broken piece from Prime One. All right. Uh, from side show, I mean, I've seen people get broken pieces from Prime One before. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've seen that too. People have got like, boy, I just saw one right now in the page that Poison Ivy came broken. I got a Superman branches. with this, with two of the same heads. But I mean, their customer service is really good, even though it takes a while for them to give replacements. Okay. Yeah, because this is yeah, I never done thinking about it. No, I have never gotten a broken piece. Jason, um, I'm we're arriving at Flynn's probably shortly before eight. Probably like seven o'clock, more than likely to get set up and everything. Uh, and I want to say that that uh, that at least Seth and and, uh, and and Calvin may be out there much later than me. Um, I'm probably going to be out there until like midnight, maybe maybe like one o'clock, depending on when they close. So I, I heard they close at like two. So who knows? Maybe I'll be there for the whole thing. Uh, I, I'm not sure G Force where exactly uh, at Calvin's at. But I know he's up that way. Yeah, this was much easier than Swamp Thing, Marvel Lord. Yeah, this is yeah, this was a this was a actually a real good one to do. So, hey, can you give these guys a, a close up on it? Yeah, let it go back Hugo around. Hugo's asking for some details. Yeah, definitely will do that. Yeah, you're right. Remember the death, the dead man. You're right. He was a spandex. We wore. He, yeah. Um, sorry, he 
was one of my guys. Well, that's kind of Raphael. That's kind of like Bermejo's kind of style, I think. Um, you know, he like I, I would say like the like the Joker that that they have coming out for Prime One is a little bit on the uh, the horror side. You know, they even got like a batarang going into his eye, and then the Batman that he did also looks looks kind of like dark. So, I think it's just I think it's more or less his, his style. I think is the reason why they went this way. So I, I kind of dig it. I'm gonna zoom in on the base. Yeah, Totosh, she's right. Yeah, uh, 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 I know you said you never got a, a broken piece, Junior, but but I mean the Swamp Thing had a had a chip in it. But yeah, but it was it, yeah. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a broken piece. I just it looked like it came like the like it looks like the paint kind of chipped out on it. Mm. So I gotta just touch it up, but the piece wasn't broken. Like I haven't had like a broken hand, a broken finger, or a broken base, or a broken branch, or. Uh, I like the details in this, man. The skulls yeah, the, and everything is yeah, pretty this dope. Yeah, good. This is really good, dude. Never had really a broken piece. like no. Team Mitchell, man. That would be freaking dope, man. If Bermejo would do the uh, the Constantine. That's what I'm hoping for. We, they actually yeah. just posted that on the Prime One Studios group about a mm -hmm. John Constantine. And I joined the conversation. I'm like, I hope they freaking do it, dude. I hope they do it. Because I'll be ecstatic. Ordinary Joe, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, we're putting in some work. G4 <laughs> so Junior is really. Do I think I need a Hulk Buster? No, I need the Batman Buster. <laughs> <laughs> I want the Batman Buster. That's what I'm going to do. I, I like that XM Studios Hulk Buster, man. I think it's sick. That thing's bananas. That's, yeah. that's some money right there, man. I'm going to be spending some money on my Batman Buster as well. <laughs> yeah, I like the the um, the texture up in the base, the rocks. I love the way that's crumbling. Yeah, the rocks. Let me move. He's that on up. a. Uh, it's not really rocks. That's his uh, tombstone, no? Yes, it is tombstone. Yep. Yeah. But this is all. This is all rocks, though. This is all concrete from his tombstone. Like that's the inside of it. And then on the front it says. Dope. Yeah, this is dope, dude. Look at the textures on this on this thing, man. Let me bring it up for you guys. Yeah, I like I, I like the suit like this. It gives it like um, almost like uh, muscles, right? Yeah, this thing is. Look at that. Yeah, it's like muscle fibers. Look at that. Here lies Boston Brand. Look at his spine. Look at his spine. Look at this. Look at look at his back. Look at that. But yeah. Yeah. Look at his spine. Look at that. Yeah, it's dope. It's like the it's like the suit is his is his muscle fibers, you know, because he's dead. It's cool. Look so at his look at his thighs, for those of you guys who don't know who Boston Brand is, that is dead man. So he's standing over his own tombstone. Yep. He's actually his 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 powers are he basically possesses people. He's a ghost, right. and he can't possess everybody either. Uh, it has to deal with their minds. He used to be a circus. He used to be in the circus. <laughs> Bum shot. <laughs> look, at that, look at that! Look at that! Look at that D in the front there. That thing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like yeah. how it's darker near the edges, like where the lines meet up. And dude is fully sculpted, bro. And he's heavy. Yeah. Look at that. Heavy, well, it can't be as heavier than, um, than Swamp Thing, though, no? No, but he's heavy. Yeah. He has some weight to him. Look at that. And this is all grooves. All this in here, like all this right here, these are all grooves. Yeah, Raphael, I would think the same thing too, but it's got two skulls there. I wonder what the per what the whole thing with that is. Look at that. Yeah, the vertebrae looks cool. Yeah, it, it's basically his skin, because you can see the nails in the in the in the hands and everything. Hmm. 
Very neat. See that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Totosh, I agree. Like, kind of attack on Titan a little bit. I love his collar. Look at the muscles there. Look at the muscles on that thing, though. Look at that. Look at the enamity that they did. I mean, they, they killed this piece, bro. Look at that. They killed this piece, bro. Mm hmm. Look at those seams. Nothing looks perfect, dude. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I like the grinning face. Shows his character. It's cool stuff, man. Look at that. Look at his shoulders. I mean, they did, I mean... Ooh, Batman in the background. Yeah. Focusing on Batman now. You should grab him now. Yeah, it's locked. It I probably have to zoom out. Did it go out? Uh, there it goes. It's back in focus. Sort of. Yeah, look at the look at the collar. Look at mm -hmm. that thing. Look at that. Look at the detail, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, man. Look at the muscle, the muscle anatomy on this thing is crazy. Yeah, it's all muscle fiber. I'm loving that. That's pretty dope. Yeah, like Hugo was saying, the scars. I like that you can see the veins right there above his ear. Yeah. Yeah, I like how the skin is deteriorating. It looks like it looks like a zombie sort of. Yeah, let me. There we go. Yeah. It's dope. Really good portrait. Looks like just like his artwork. Look at this. Yeah, he captured Bermejo's work pretty well. Daniel Corona, man, congrats on the Swamp Thing, dude. That, that's a really nice piece. He's saying that he may pick up Dead Man because of this one, too. Dead, this is a nice piece, man. I like this This Justice League Dark. Yeah, this is. Let me put it. I didn't get too much of the base for you guys, but look at that. Look at the base right there. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Um, let me. Um, let me see if I can get that information for you, JB. I don't know who the sculptor was. I only know who, who did the concept design. Look at that. Look at the bones. Look at that. Uh, so you can see the bones on this. Look at that. Yeah. Really nice that. details, man. This is this is really, really good, dude. This is really, really Hmm. On their website, they don't say who the sculptor was for this one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Aaron, as, as Sorry, far as I know with the character, stuff. you know, his, his name is, is Boston Brand. I know that he, he died. I, I can't remember all of the details about him, but I know that the character himself is kind of like a spirit. He can possess people. Um, this... Do, 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 I don't do. follow the comic that much. He's basically... He died. He's a circus. He's uh, he tries Yeah, he to was help. an acrobat. 
Yeah. Yes, he was. And I go back, and he's trying to find his murderer, somebody who killed him. He's trying to catch him. The person who killed him. Okay. He joins the league. And uh, he gets together with John Constantine. Swamp, and he holds Swamp. That man is basically, in his records, he circles acrobat Boston Brand, traumatized by the anger and abuse of the experience as a child, was murdered and then given a new chance at life. As dead man, him, he can inhabit the bodies of living, always driven to atone for the selfish ways he lived his life by bringing hope to the hopeless. Hmm. That's how he became. And then he teams <laughs> up with uh, Batman in one of the series. And then, basically, in 1972, Dead Man's quest to track down the hook gets help from an unexpected quarter that forever people who also temporarily house Dead Man's spirit in an artificial body. And then he right. came out again in comic book in 2010, 2011, right as day. A okay. white lantern ring gives Boston Brand a chance to live again. He must protect the Star City Forest from a dark avatar. It's a lot about this character. He comes out in a lot of different comic books. True. A lot of different people. All right. That's what's up. Uh, you want to zoom back out? Yeah. Look at his feet. And that is it. It's really cool. All right, man. So you know how we do it. How many bananas, bro? Hey, you know me, man. Ten bananas, baby. This one got ten? Ten bananas, man. Swamp Thing got a hundred, bro. Yeah, hundred, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 that's Swamp Thing. <laughs> ATV bananas. Racers in the house. What's up, dude? What's up, ATV? Yeah, this is the ten bananas, baby. You know, bananas, right. bananas. Prime One never lets me down, bro. That's what's up. This is, uh, yeah, everything. This is uh, I'm a phenomenal piece. I can't wait to... Oh, my God, it came with an atom. <laughs> My room's looking full, baby. <laughs> True. True. Yep. Can't wait to put them All in right. the rest of the lineup. And that is it, guys. If you're interested in picking this one up, I don't think he's still available. I think this one's sold out. Uh, he, No, he is still available. Is he? One, one, two. Buckle my shoe. Yeah, he's still available on, on Prime One Studio site. I don't know about Sideshow. So, um, uh, I guess thing? afterwards, if you guys want, I can leave a link in the description if you guys want to get that. Oh, Swamp uh, Thing? No, no. I'm talking about Dead Man. Dead Man is still available on Prime 1 site from the looks of it. Yeah, it's I was looking stock. At, I was looking it up. Hmm? Is it low stock in Prime 1? I think it was in low stock. It was it? in low stock. Hey, you want to bring the mic up so we can hear you better? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's, uh, yeah, it's um, cool. The, the low... It's, 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 I think it's low it's stock. It's in low in stock. One. Yeah. It's in it's low, low stock. stock. Uh, that's This is the limited edition of 500. The uh, exclusive... Is also still available and it's in low stock and that one is a limited edition of, of only three fifty, uh, nine hundred and forty nine dollars for the exclusive version, and it's um, eight hundred and ninety nine dollars for the regular version. So you can get it from uh, Prime One if you guys are looking to pick that up, or and Comic uh, Concepts if you guys want to get that as well. Comic Concepts is a good place to get Prime One Studios as well. And Swamp Thing Sideshow still has them, but they got the regular edition. They got the regular edition on Yeah, the regular edition right. of Swamp Thing. But, they, like I said, the exclusive only gives you a head, uh, one head scope and a different swap out for the right arm. That's basically it. But this thing has... I, I didn't see no need for the exclusive because it just has a lot of swap outs itself that I'm not even... I can't even fit them in a drawer. That's how big they are. Right. I think right. Like, oh, I, I can't fit the sword nowhere. That sword's humongous. <laughs> I gotta put that sword in a standing up somewhere in the corner of my room because I can't put it in. A, I can't put it anywhere. True. All right. Thanks, Hugo. Appreciate uh, it, Hugo. Thank you so much, man. Tackle any questions you guys have here just before we get off. Uh, looks like we got one from Lewis asking me about the Ezio statue. Is it worth buying? I love my Ezio statue. I have it up there. Uh, when I do the room tour, I guess I'll show it to you guys. It's not my favorite in the line. If you're going to get one, I would recommend getting the Altair statue. That's the best looking one in my opinion. It looks the most like him. The Ezio portrait, I think, is a little bit off. But I think overall, the whole statue is amazing. I love that piece. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Any more questions? What does everyone do with all their swap outs? Well, me, um, I, I got a little explain. cart. I'm a, yeah. I have a little cart with a whole bunch of drawers. And I walk around like a little nurse. <laughs> Swapping them out one by one. To my floor. And I wheel my little cart, 
and I swap out my head sculpts. At least once a month, I go around and use my swap outs. I do use my swap outs. I don't keep the same swap outs. I let everybody know that I do love changing my 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 statues. Gives me something to do on a Saturday morning. Baby sleeping. I'll come down here, put on my little cart, and I start swapping everything around. That's what's up. I'm more into just putting it as it is, and I put the swap outs in a box. And I'm good. <laughs> it gives me a different feel of the statue when I swap them out to me. So, True. I kind of hands up, hands down, facing, grinning, laughing. So, it kind of gives me a different feel of the room when I swap everybody out. True. Thor is saying that he's going to get you a Doctor <laughs> Strange cape. ATV Racer is saying that you're like a flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> you think, yeah, yeah, actually, that's, that's a better, better, yeah, like a flight attendant. You're right. I come down the aisle and I give everybody their sodas. So Bob the Great's asking if the paint on the base is as flat as it looks on camera. Does the does the the base look like it has more than one color, or is it just yes, that gray it's color? It's brownish, grayish, and blackish, and it has yeah, it's different yeah. tones. It's not a whole tone. It's not a whole tone. Different tones. So I should have probably prefaced this before we started the chat. Um, okay, Junior's uh, light source broke before we even got on on camera. So normally it's a little bit brighter when we do these videos. Yes, but, yes, my light you know, broke. One of my lights broke, so I'm only working with one right now. So that's why you yeah. see a little bit dark in here. Uh, yeah. But uh, if I had my other light, it probably look better. But this is not just one solid color. You have your crumbles, you have your grays, and your browns, and your blacks in this piece. Later, it's Thor. Thanks for joining us, bro. Thanks, Thor, man. Yeah, G4S, bro. Thank you, bro. Definitely, guys, hit that like button, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Aaron saying, Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> it's looking good. Congratulations on another awesome Prime One statue. Good stuff, baby. All aboard. <laughs> Thanks again for Thanks coming lot, Aaron, out for this. Appreciate Always it. fun to watch. Garcia, yeah. that's my last name, buddy. Rock on, bud. What's up? And let's see, Killer Ken. Can Dead Man sleep with you on the couch? <laughs> they could all sleep with me on the couch. Don't care who it is. <laughs> I already got the Arkham line sleeping behind me. <laughs> no problem, Lewis, man. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Lewis. Appreciate it. Marvel Lords, congratulating you on the uh, on the new edition. Thank That's you, Marvel. Too. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for joining us. We do appreciate the support and coming Absolutely. by and spending time with us, man. We really appreciate that. Absolutely. So, I guess, man, with that, Junior uh, will go <laughs> bananas. bananas if Prime One <laughs> announces John Constance. Absolutely, dude. Yeah, you're definitely you know right, to. man. So let's hope that Prime One's watching these videos. Please make it John Constantine. You ready to make that, man? You made Swamp Thing. You made Satana. Come on, give me John, the main man. Come on, bring me John. Mm -hmm. ATV, peace, my brother. Be safe out there, man. See you in the next round. So with that, guys, we're going to call it. Thanks for joining us for another live unboxing video with my man, Junior. And my man George, they know the dual team, baby. You know, this is you know, this is like Batman and Robin, you know? It's like, you know, it's like You're the Batman, Super I'm Boys, Robin. you know, it's like the Super Boys, you know? <laughs> super Sons, the Super Sons. And the super I like that boy. Better. You like Super Sons, I say the Super Boys. We're the boys, bro, you know? We're the all boys. Right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? We're not we're not we're not you know, you know, you know, it's like the this is like like we see Yandel, the dual dynamico, brother, you know? Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> so guys, man, remember, we're gonna be going live live at Flynn's uh, woo, Arcade. Man, you see, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Flynn's Arcade this Friday. I'm going to get some sleep and be more hyped for Friday. So I'll be much more live by that point. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow. Seth is going to be doing a live unboxing. If you guys are into figures, he's doing a, a Build-A-Figure video. Uh, he gets a lot of, lot of views on that one. It's a fun watch. Uh, so definitely check that out if you guys are into that. I'm trying to come out with one more video during the day. So I'll try to pump that out tomorrow if it doesn't get too crazy. So anyway, but thanks again for joining us for tonight. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous. Keep it marvelous, everyone. Choo-choo! Another train has left the building. Choo-choo! Yeah. <laughs>